our government does not quite know how to handle these things. Uh, obviously, they are highly advanced technologically. And I, I don't know if fear is the right word, but certainly we, we would be in awe of their technology. Uh, they must be uh, many hundreds or thousands of years ahead of us. And so I doubt that our government is able to have any control over these objects. We should go boldly where man has not gone before. Fly by the comets, visit asteroids, visit the moon of Mars. There's a monolith there, a very unusual structure on this little potato-shaped object that, that goes around Mars once in seven hours. Societies involved who are regularly coming for various reasons and uh, some of them are here for doing their graduate thesis, perhaps, you know. And some of them are here because they want our resources, and some of them are here because they want to continue their race. And there's clearly evidence of interbreeding and hybrids and stuff like that. All, all sort of scary with respect to our society. So there's good evidence to think that the UFO occupants are, are, are not necessarily helpful to us. There are some who feel that they are mostly all helpful, and I, I think there's no evidence to support that. I read about this incident you had in 1951, and you said you saw literally hundreds of unidentifiable flying objects. Yes, they were flying quite high. How high, we couldn't tell, because we couldn't get anywhere near their altitude. But they were either very large craft way up or smaller craft still a little well above what we could get to. For a day and a half, all of this happened. But then no one wanted to talk about it. Well, we sent a report forward on it, and, and the answer that finally came back months later was they were probably high-flying seed pods, which didn't sound very logical. There are always a lot of excuses. There's always um, the, the weather balloons. I've heard that one before. Oh, yeah. In 1951, you couldn't even get close to That's the things that were flying overhead. You or anyone else that was flying. They were faster, higher. It was on Jim McDevitt's Gemini 7 mission, where they saw um, this glint of something metallic off in the distance. And he reported, and nobody had it listed on the ground, so he tried getting a picture of it. But the sun, unfortunately, was glinting off of it. It's bright. All you got is just a glint. There was no detail on what it was, but never any, uh, any further sighting at all on it. I'm going to ask this question, and I'm, I'm going to uh, use my position to ask it quickly. What, <laughs> when I was at your library, <laughs> that's not that bad, don't worry. <laughs> when I was at your library opening, I was standing in your replica office, Oval Office. It's an incredibly uh, powerful feeling. I've never been to the White House. I'm not a Republican, but... Uh, um, I looked at your desk and I was wondering from president to president whether you'd pass a list along of, of secrets that only you and a couple of President Bush Sr., President Bush, Jimmy Carter, Gerald Ford know, like where's Jimmy Hoffa, or um, uh, what, what really happened at Roswell. So without, without, giving away, without giving away any state secrets, is there, is, there, is there something we can all look forward to in the future to read about that you know that we don't know? that will really make the National Enquirer required reading? I don't know if you all remember this, but there was actually, when I was president in my second term, there was an anniversary observance of Roswell. You remember that? Yeah. People came to Roswell, New Mexico from all over the world. And, um, and there's also a site in Nevada where people were convinced that the, the government had buried a UFO and perhaps an alien deep underground because we wouldn't allow anybody to go there. And um, I can say now, because it's now been released into the public domain, I, 
I actually, I had so many people in my own administration were convinced that Roswell was a fraud, but this place in Nevada was really serious. There was an alien artifact there. So I actually sent somebody there to figure it out. And it was actually just a secret defense installation, alas, and doing boring work that we just didn't want anybody else to see. So that means there's a list or no list? What? <laughs> What'd you say? I, just, I, said, I was just joking. The list, the, the you should have said, I don't know what you said, but you should have said there's absolutely no risk of that. Given my misspent youth, I'm lucky to be here now. And what I did say was that there, there really is no list or there is a list, the, 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 the secrets. If there is one, I don't know it. I mean, I really, the, the Roswell thing, I think, really was an illusion. <laughs> I don't think it happened. I mean, I think there are rational explanations that I have succeeded and I, I did attempt to find out if there were any secret government documents that reveal things and if there were they were concealed from me too it wouldn't be, I wouldn't be the first president that underlings have lied to or that career bureaucrats have waited out but there may be some career person sitting around somewhere hiding these dark secrets even from elected presidents but if so they successfully eluded me and I'm almost embarrassed to tell you I did try to find out. <laughs>